Hello everybody, and welcome to this video, where we are going to talk about more unpopular stuff. And it's funny, because I was thinking about this video. I'm like, this will be, like, really interesting discussion. And so I'm excited about that. But at the same time, I know that there is a, a faction of the booktubes that are going to be really mad. And this isn't to make them mad, but hey, let's keep it civil, guys. Am I right? So there's, there's a lot of um, talk around the tubes about, um, like, essential classics that you must read. You know, top 10, top 20 must read classics and blah, 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 blah. Now, if you want to read classics, read classics. If you don't want to read classics, don't read classics. I'm going to say some stuff that... Th this is where the anger is going to start. There is a part of me, and when I say a part, I'm leaning on 99% of me that thinks reading classics is unnecessary. And here's why. If we go with the theory that there's nothing new under the sun, everything that's been done has been done before, if we go this route with our thinking, there's a good possibility that Every amazing classic that you're supposed to read, an author of a book that you've read has already read that classic. And since all we are is an amalgamation of all the things that have shaped us and sculpted us, sculpted our belief systems, sculpted our artistic vision there's a good possibility even if you've never read a classic before that you know every story that is in any of these classics that someone is telling you that you have to read there's a good possibility that every cliche from said classics you've read in other books um, every emotion that you could read out of a more modern book you've probably already read. Um, and honestly, unless you get off on dead language, like there really isn't a need to read any of those books. And I mean, I'm even going, and this is where, okay, like even Shakespeare, like, it's shake timber right now as well. If you want to get off on language, then I guess read Shakespeare. But just know that there will be absolutely no surprises for you, story-wise. Because everyone has plagiarized Shakespeare to fucking death. To death. Like, if you've watched... Okay, this is, if you've watched a soap opera, if you've watched 90210, um, the first one or the second one, Dawson's Creek fans, anybody? Um, any fucking TV show, any fucking Sweet Valley High book, like, whatever your thing is, guaranteed you have witnessed the acts of a Shakespeare story. Now, there are going to be people who tell you that it's the language that you're going in for. And if that's the case, then go in for it if you want to do it. Don't feel pressured to do it. If anyone around here makes you feel pressure to read dead books, like, don't fall for it. Because the worst thing that could happen is you read one of these books and feel like, God, everyone on BookTube is talking about what a great book this is. And it's so fucking boring to me. I don't fucking get it. 
I don't fucking care, but I'm supposed to care because people say that I have to read these books, that this is essential, blah, 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 blah. You don't have to do any of that. Nobody fucking cares at the end of the day. Like, nothing will change if you do not read um, Les Mis, okay? Nothing will change if you um, don't read the Bronte Sisses, okay? Nothing changes at all. Another thing, um, since we're talking Les Mis and getting further and further down that road, a lot of people talk about translation, and this translation's better than that translation, and this is better than this, and that's better than that. If we're going to go down this road where we're just, like, reading a translation that was written a gajillion years ago, like, why does it even matter for reading the book in the first place? Why don't you just read... I mean, fuck, you could read a fucking Batman graphic novel that has the same arc is um, War and Peace. I'm sure it's been done. I can't tell you, but I could pretty much guarantee that something like that has been done. So if that's the case, and it doesn't matter, then why the fuck is it a big deal? Do what you want. Read what you want. Who fucking cares? It's, it's a non-issue. I just feel like there's a lot of pressure um, on people who... Um, come to booktube that they have to participate in all this stuff and people talk about it all the time like um, event fatigue and stuff and um, I think events are fun and if you do like maybe one every couple months or like you don't do one this month because next month there's a big one that you want to do that's awesome you know if you want to do one every month, then do one every month. You could do a couple every month. But the whole idea here is is that don't let that take away the joy that you get from reading the shit that you read anyway. Like, this isn't like a contest. This isn't a fucking, like a popularity click. Just read the shit you like. And if you start reading one of these classics and you don't like it, then fucking stop reading it. Like, you don't have to keep reading it. It's it's more important for you to enjoy what you're reading than forcing yourself through something just so you could have a conversation about what you thought of it. Because nine times out of ten, you're not going to fucking say you hated it, even if you did. You're going to try to find stuff you liked about it just so you don't piss off the other people on Voxer or whatever. So, with that being said... Um, my essential list of books you need to read are none. So read whatever the fuck you want. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.